day, this is Nikita from Department of Interior Design at Milagros College. So today's topic will be color and color applications. Let's see color harmony. What is color harmony? Color harmony is a practice of combining colors in aesthetically pleasing way. So color harmony is nothing but the combination of color in aesthetically pleasing way. Here are some color harmony, complementary. What is complementary color harmony? Complementary is nothing but opposite. So complementary color scheme creates, so complementary color scheme is the opposite, opposite colors of color red. So it creates a strong contrast. Now example in this they have shown yellow and purple. It will be red and green, blue and orange. So opposite color of color red. So it creates a strong contrast. Now split complementary color. So split complementary color is nothing but one base color. So it's nothing but one base color and two secondary color. Okay. Then combination of one warm color and two cool colors or vice versa. So split complementary is nothing but one base color and two secondary colors. Combination of one warm color and two cool colors or vice versa. However, it so in the example we can say they have given blue, blue plus green and yellow plus orange and red. That's one of the example for split complement. Other there is red, purple and purple and yellow. So that's nothing but a triangle shape. Triangle. So complementary is nothing but opposite colors. With complementary, there are three colors, like a triangle. As we said, one base color and two secondary colors. Either combination of one warm color and two cool colors, or vice versa. Two warm colors and one cool colors. Next, analogous color. Analogous color is nothing but three adjacent colors in color. Color harmony consists of color in a three three colors of a color group. The dominant color and adjacent color are used in the are used in this scheme. So, uh, like there are three colors: no? dominant colors and adjacent colors. One color is there are three colors. So, one color is used to dominate. Second color is to support. Third color is for action. So, that is. Yeah, adjacent color. Now they have shown uh, yellow, yellow, orange, and orange. There are the three colors. Either will be red, red, orange, like that. So red, orange, red, and red, violet. Any three colors. What is triadic? Tri means three. So three colors. So triadic color harmony is nothing but three colors. So triadic is nothing but using of three colors evenly spaced on color. That is evenly spaced on a color wheel. If you are looking to that, that is evenly spaced. Now they have to use the yellow. Living three colors, next is red. Living three colors, next is blue. Living three colors, yellow. So evenly spaced. Next is tetrad. What is tetrad? What is tetra? Tetra is nothing but four. So in this color wheel, four we have to select. So tetradic is based on four color. In tetradic there are two types, rectangle and square. Rectangle use of four colors located on each side of complementary color. So tetradic is nothing but use of four color located on each side of complementary color. Square equally spaced apart on the color wheel. Now a uh, square is equally spaced on color wheel. It's like a triangle. Tetradic rectangle is nothing but what? Complementary color. So, use of four colors located on each side of complementary color. So, complementary color. Now, I said no, that time the complementary color is like a purple and uh, purple and yellow and uh, blue and orange. That's a complementary color. Then you have to make a rectangle. Square is nothing but equally, equally spread. That is equal based on a part of color. That is four colors. What is monochromatic? What is mono? 
Mono is a thing with one. Chromatic is a thing with color. In monochromatic, there are hue, tint, tone, and shades. So monochromatic focus on single color. Then you work towards the shade, tone, and tint that is based on. So mono means one. The color means chromatic. So one color. We are using one color. In that you tint, tone, and shade. U is a pure color. For example, yellow. Yellow is a pure color. Tint, you are adding yellow plus white. That is tint. Tone, yellow plus gray. That is tone. Shade, yellow plus black. So you are mixing of the colors. That is monochromatic color scheme. Next is double split complementary color scheme. So we saw split complementary. This is double split color scheme. A double split complementary is also called a tetradic. Tetradic, yeah, tetradic. We saw rectangle and square. Double split complementary color scheme is nothing but rectangle, not square. Two pairs of complementary, one space apart on color wheel. Now they have given an example also: red, green, orange, and blue. What in all color are known is complementary opposite color split complementary is evenly spaced analogous triadic tetradic and monochromatic and double split complementary color scheme now color are known is in interior how it is used the first one color are known before that primary color and secondary colors are there how they are used. Just uh, if you look into that image, see the primary color red. They are used for wall and uh, blue. Blue you can see in other wall and yellow they are used like in curtains and carpet. Secondary color they are used the purple and green. There is they are used even the plants white. Now next is tertiary color. There are so much pop of color. Purple and light purple there, and uh, they have given an orange or something as decor, and green they have mentioned like a small plant they have given, and below, below there is uh, blue and yellow, green, uh, some of cool colors and warm colors they have given a painting there, tertiary color. No colors in monochromatic, one color. See, there is blue color. That's a, that there is a shades of that light shade, light shade. Uh, blue plus white and blue plus gray. Now, even there is a pink shades. Uh, in second image, they are playing with the tone, tint, and shade. That is gray, white, and black. So how we can just use? We can play with color. When color is an important role in interior, so we can play with the color. Then there is uh, yeah analogous colors. If they have used three colors, that is blue, uh, uh, blue, green, and uh, yellow green. They have used nice. Yeah, they have used a blue blue uh, blue one shade, and uh, here we can come for split complementary. They have used uh, yellow. Orange and blue, very well. Uh, see the two walls; they have given two paints, and uh, yellow they have given a cute chair there. And split complementary again. There is split complementary there again. They have given three colors. Even not only we can highlight the wall, we can highlight the furniture as they have shown. Furniture or a art piece, art decor or a painting, anything. Tetradic is four colors. They have given in sofas only. Sofa, full four types of color are there. Even the flooring, even the curtains, even that the blinds they have used and uh, tetradic. The complementary is two colors. In these two colors, they have used blue and orange. See the orange shade, orange uh, sofa. 
very good. Like this, uh, the use of color harmonies you can use in interior in many ways. In many, even interior commercial or residential, in any area, that like living room, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, anywhere you can use them. Complement the color scheme again. Well, they have used very good. It's red, yellow and purple. They have given a cute chair there and back wallpapers, everything. And here comes the second image they have given, green and red. Down one, uh, yeah, orange and uh, blue. Try adding three colors. They have given red, blue, yellow. Try adding, they have given good purple, green, yellow. They have given a, a painting there. No use of color in interior. As I said, color is an important aspect of design of interior space. We know that all a well planned space can be enhanced by using appropriate colors. And appropriate colors for a space is relative and cannot be applied. An understanding of color psychology and symbolized play an important role while choosing color for interior space in different settings for different functions. So there are three key questions to be asked while working with color in interior design. What, who and where? What? What is functional or purpose use of space you are looking for? You are like choosing color for. For what you are choosing the color, functional purpose and uses of space. Colors used for residential interior can be highly personalized depending on the taste and the choice of the owners. Hospital interiors are generally white and blue to indicate cleanliness and being calm. I said each color has an emotional and so in hospital they have used white and blue to indicate cleanliness and being calm. In contrast, many ex experiment, uh, yeah, in contrast, many experiments can be done with trendy like bright colors. While choosing colors for fast food joint and restaurant, targeting a end crown. Right. So like there is like there is uh, various categories in for kids' bedroom, we can use the types of color. For medium age, they are not too fond of color. Like they need a like minimal, not so bright color, not so uh, light color like that. For uh, older people, they need a very uh, light color, subtle type of something like that, a steely type of. So, by choosing color for fast food and joint for restaurant, that that we can uh, focus on yen crowd, right? It will be a bright colors, trendy colors like that. The function of the space correspond to colors based on the preference of the client, user, internet, ambience, atmosphere, as well as desired mood and emotion. So what is that? Now who? Who is the end user of the space you are choosing for color? Now before you derive a color scheme, scheme for an interior space, it is very important to Ask the use of the space and their need and attitude. Then, what is the age group? As I said, it's a middle age group and a middle age group and a small age group. Okay. So, whether children, youth, or elder, so are, are, are there people with the special need requirements, special design consideration? We have to see. And children are attracted to more by color than the shades. In fact, prefer red and blue. For elder people, all colors will be dimmer and visual resolution will be lower. Even it depends upon the visual eyesight. And while designing for elder people, designers should use bright colors and make sure the brightness and contrast is especially high for elder people. As the resolution of high will be low. Right. So bright colors will help them. 
where where is the location of the space you are choosing for color now color scheme may vary for space in the hot and bright climate to cool and dull white weather weather in specific culture and social setting in different physical and geological location so you have to see the location also where when the weather so the important thing is what how and where right what who and where we often oversee colors at the time of interior design so color plays an essential role in our life it is a visual language understood throughout the world so it is a visual language throughout the world when you try to communicate something to interior design the best way to do it to a color as is a color as emotional and mood the interior design is highly dependent on the color scheme as it is most important factor in interior design color light and shade always surround us different color are the quickest easiest and most realistic way to develop intimate modification in the room a newly painted room will refresh the interior while eliminating the structure imperfection paint can entirely change the atmosphere of the interior and create harmony with the decor by your style each tone of color has a significant effect on your mood as a specific meaning and interlinks with our mind frame color have a power to change your mood and mind your choice of the best combination of color in your home that can bring together various emotions at your home like pleasant calm intimate comfortable dramatic and aggressive etc so thank you so color is an important important aspect in interior so you can use in varieties ways and uh, there are varieties of colors 